Hey everyone, Daryl J. Nikki II here. I am founder and CEO of Carbon Capture Shield, uh, but just one of many partners who are working to make this a reality. Yes, our goal is to transform 1 billion acres of Earth into regenerative land. And many are saying they don't understand how this lawn care product fits into that overall goal. And I want to make a quick video just to update and explain the overall picture. Um, for the last decade, I've been traveling around the world meeting with farmers all over the planet. And one thing I learned is that farming is in extreme trouble. And without going too far into it, the, the root cause of the problem, if we want to attack the root cause, is the chemical corporations that sprung up uh, around the start of World War I, which was called the Chemists' War. And they learned how to uh, suck nitrogen out of the atmosphere, which they used for explosives, which we now use for fertilizer. Because what happened is they built all these massive factories to produce all these chemicals for war World War I. And when the war ended, they didn't know what to do with these factories. So they started marketing those same chemicals to farmers. Nitrogen is fertilizer, phosphorus is fertilizer, all these chemical poisons as pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. And they sterilized the land. It's, it's no coincidence that the Great Dust Bowl of 1928, was it, happened less than a decade after they started pumping these poisons into the soil. It destroyed it. And since then, we've been struggling to regain balance because we've destroyed the natural balance. Uh, how does a lawn care product fit into that? Well, another thing I learned from going around the world and actually speaking one-on-one -on -one with farmers is that if we come to them and say, hey, we've got the solution, they're going to tell us, you know, there's the door, please leave. Because they've been lied to and misinformed repeatedly for the last century or more since the chemical corporations started marketing those chemicals to them. They built massive public relations and marketing agencies around the world that changed the way humanity thought about farming. And there's a reason why what I learned about in school as the Fertile Crescent uh, the birthplace of agriculture and civilization is now the Arabian Desert. It's the birthplace of agriculture, apparently. It's now desert, barren desert land. It's because of the farming practices that have been spreading uh, as a result of this, this mind control, basically, which is what the mainstream media has become. L let's not go down that path right now. The lawn care product is to create a grassroots movement of individuals uh, right now, we are a consumer society. We are passive consumers. We are like those humans in Wally -E that just sit on their lazy boy chairs, sipping their easy gulp things and, and looking at devices, digital devices to interact with the world. We think that we can just dial up and order everything we want and have it done and delivered to us by someone else. And that is very passive. And that leads to docile, easily controlled individuals. We need to create an army of activists, of educated consumers. Conscious consumerism is the opposite of that. It's still consumerism. You can still be consumers. And we live in an, uh, not an independent society, but an interdependent society. I don't know how to create the computer that I'm recording this on. I don't know how to create the internet that I'm transmitting this on. We're interdependent on each other. And we need to be consciously aware of that. So when we consume things from others, we all also recognize the value of what of the service or product that they're providing to us. And so the lawn care product is to show you that, first of all, Americans' backyards, this is where we dump 60 million pounds of poisons every year, and, and that causes all kinds of problems. The EPA has said that one of the biggest groundwater problems is lawn fertilizers. I mean, look at Lake Okeechobee in Florida, where it's literally killing dolphins when it spills over into the ocean because of a lot of golf courses and also the homes with all of the chemical fertilizers that run off into the groundwater. And fertilizer is not bad, but it causes algae blooms. And again, it just takes nature out of balance. And what our product does is it restores that balance. It eliminates all of those chemicals. So you don't have the runoff, but we also resurrect and regenerate, that's why it's called regenerative, we regenerate the life in the soil. And the soil is home to all kinds of amazing things that we've taken for granted because out of sight, out of mind. We don't see it, we don't know it exists, we don't value it. But there's a microcosmos of life below the soil. And by showing you the power of this life in your own backyard, 
What I hope to do, what we hope to do at Carbon Capture Shield is to turn you from a passive consumer into an educated activist. You've now taken action in your own backyard to help reverse the trend of environmental degradation. Uh, a lot of people object to the term climate change. And I agree because the climate's always changing, but humans are destroying the environment, regardless of what language you want to use. We are actively destroying the environment through our practices. Lake Okeechobee is just one example of that. So if I can give you a simple, easy way that you can fix that through consumerism, so you're, you haven't really changed your behaviors, you're still a passive consumer, but I get you to take an action in your backyard. When you see the result, you'll want to learn more, you'll want to do more. Now you're an activist actively taking a role and we want to create a grassroots movement of people that will then go and create positive pressure by demanding that local farmers start growing regeneratively because you're going to think hey if i can do this in my backyard and it's so easy surely there's ways to do this on a farm that then make the farmland regenerative and instead of adding to the problem actually helping to reverse the problem and remove pollution from the environment and that's what our, our solutions do so we are a farming company that wants to affect a billion acres on earth, but we are choosing to enter the market via a lawn care product because not only that, but this can be a highly profitable product. You know, Scott's lawn, uh, weed and feed and, and turf builder, those are billion dollars a year industries that are currently polluting. If we can tap into just 1% of that, that's enough to then finance a lot of our other research and development projects while we're educating a core group of conscious consumers that create market demands that will drive market behavior. So in order, in a capitalist system, which is where we exist right now, we have to operate from where we are. In a capitalist system, we have to create market demands if we want to drive market behaviors. I can't go to farmers and say, I've got a better way. I have to create the market demands and then the farmers will come to me, come to Carbon Capture Shield and say, hey, teach us how to do this. So that's what we're trying to do with the lawn care product. So uh, you can help save the planet in your own backyard. That's not hyperbole. This is a literal statement that we're getting banned on Facebook for. Um, so I wanted to make this video to, to get the message out to people who, who actually care, who are actually awake and active already, because this is like, this is like fuel for that fire. And what we need to do is we need to reach a tipping point in civilization. For a while, people like me, it's been like trying to start a fire by rubbing sticks together. It's, it's very difficult and the wood is damp and it's like a lot of effort to start a tiny fire that just goes out the minute you turn your back on it. Whereas we're about to reach tipping point where when there's a tipping point, you can flick a cigarette butt into a forest and it will start an entire forest fire. Instead of me, you know, slaving away trying to start this with, with friction, when the conditions are right, then it's unstoppable. And we are at that tipping point. The, the world is in turmoil. They're, they're telling us that now we can't even eat steak because of you know, the environmental degradation. The solution is the soil because the soil sequesters all those greenhouse gases, but also living plants like grass release hydroxyl into the atmosphere, which when it gets charged by sunlight, they become like uh, antioxidants that literally seek out environmental pollutions. They will break down methane into just carbon and hydrogen water. It'll fall as fertilizer. Same thing happens to CO2, to um, carbon monoxide, exhaust from car fumes, factories. Your lawn can sequester it. And so at Carbon Capture Shield, we say you can have your steak and eat it too because your lawn is the solution because the grass is where the cows were supposed to be. And your average one acre of lawn treated in a carbon capture shield manner will sequester more greenhouse gases than all the hamburgers and steaks an entire family of five could eat in their entire lifetime. That's how powerful the sequestering power of living soil and healthy plants can be. So you can do this in your own backyard with healthy lawn. Sorry for the, the you know sales pitch, but we are a capitalist company operating in a capitalist society and we have real solutions, but we have to deliver them through the capitalist system. So um, yeah, try not to um, judge too much the fact that we're engaging with capitalism. Capitalism can be a powerful force for good when it's not crony capitalism. What we have right now is we have uh, a few psychopathic entities, which are corporations. Corporations are, are basically have all the rights of a human, but they have no conscience. They have no soul. They're driven by one purpose, and that is to make maximum profits. And these corporations have gotten so big, 
they can control entire world governments. We, call, we used to call that a banana republic. Uh, now that's even a corporation that sells shirts and people proudly wear these shirts that say banana republic. They don't realize that means that you've overthrown the constitutionally elected government by force and installed a corporatocracy. Uh, but people are so ignorant to this, they probably wear that as, as a brand and the elites laugh at us. So I don't want to go too far off topic because, uh, I don't want to piss off the wrong people and then get canceled before, you know, we live in a crazy world, but lawn is the solution. It is the first step in a multi-phase plan. Uh, you know, when, when Elon Musk first took, bought into Tesla, the first product that Tesla actually sold was they took Panasonic, I believe it was, laptop batteries, they repackaged them into a battery pack and sold that to Mercedes for their electric smart car. So the first product that Tesla ever made was repackaging another manufacturer's batteries and selling that to a, a, another car manufacturer, a competitor. And that's how they got cash flow. And so that was just phase one of a multi-phase uh, production line. They then built a, a high price luxury item, you know, the Roadster, Tesla Roadster, that was to appeal to a specific audience that were willing to pay a high price. And they use that to then invest in the future business. So that's using capitalism right, where you build it progressively and you target the market in order to finance the operations. And that's what we're doing with Carbon Capture Shield. That's why I partnered with people like Ingersoll Lockwood, but also with people like uh, WQ Incorporated in Japan. They're a very cutting edge renewable energy company that are doing amazing work in Mongolia and throughout Asia by bringing solar panel and renewable energy to these regions. Uh, and they've been doing that since 2008 uh, as Q-cells here in Germany and then they moved to Japan. You know, we're not just partnering with Ingersoll Lockwood and sort of, you know, military industrial complex, although we need that because the scope of what we're trying to achieve uh, is massive and we will create uh, some very powerful enemies. But we also have the other side, which is the true renewable and uh, in it for the right reasons and truly wanting to make a change, a positive change and help people help themselves to help the planet get back in balance. And that's what it's all about. So thank you for joining us on this journey. Uh, I'm going to stop recording now and I hope that you enjoyed this little update and now you understand how, uh, how your lawn can actually help save the planet, uh, not as a hyperbole, but as a fact. Uh, so thank you and looking forward to launching this product, getting it into people's hands. We're hoping to have it ready to ship by the end of February. So that way you have it to sprinkle on your lawns, uh, before the first thaw of spring. So let's hope that happens and thank you again for your support.